Uh, we're here with Jordan Berman, Executive Director of Media Innovation, AT&T Mobility, and we want to talk about the, um, the carrier's role in the mobile advertising world. So um, we'll, we'll describe, describe your world and the, and the place that you play in that. Sure. So I have both an ex internal facing role and external. Internally, I'm working with each of the product managers. It might be mobile video, mobile internet, messaging, or premium downloadable content and really help and consult those folks on how to build ad-supported businesses within their existing you know, slate of services. And then externally facing, I'm working with advertisers, brands, trade associations, really to A, evangelize the mobile platform as a, as a terrific marketing vehicle uh, that should be uh, combined in concert with other traditional advertising, and then to actually you know, start to sell AT&T's inventory, which uh, on mobile we're launching in fourth quarter with banner ads on Medianet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, we, we've heard a lot today about how there's a lot of um, there's a lot of supply, but not quite enough demand yet. What what are you finding in terms of advertisers? Are are they responding well to uh, to your pitches to them? Yeah, there, there's a lot of interest um, in terms of just how a, a brand manager uses mobile to complement everything else. So I think there's a lot of interest, mm -hmm. and now I think what we've got to do is is educate and kind of bring sort of almost like a consultative sales approach where we're really putting together solutions that are going to deliver measurable results so that. It starts to open up the spigot of of uh, of, of funds mm -hmm. uh, into the mobile platform. Right, and and how does that differ uh, being on the mobile platform than let's say the, the other types of platforms? Um, you know, what what how would you uh, gear a campaign differently? Well, what's interesting is that AT and T we're the biggest ISP for broadband. Mm -hmm. We've got a small but growing IPTV platform, and of course we're the biggest carrier. So we actually play in all areas, and my responsibilities are sort of growing into that. Mm -hmm. But I think the key with mobile is really understanding the context that this is a device the consumer carries with them all the time. It's on the go, mm -hmm. and the way a consumer looks at that device and expects the flow of information is very much a product of of the, that context. Short form, on the go, heavy uh, utility, but certainly it's a communication device, but uh, it's really a matter of trying to kind of be of mobile and trying to have that brand figure out what's the conversation it should have in the mobile context. Mm -hmm. And it, it would seem to me there's a, also a, a delicate balance because you're, the consumers are your customers also, and they could go elsewhere if they mm -hmm. want to. So you don't obviously want to impose on them in a sense. So how, how do you play that, play that balance? Well, we, we've taken a very thoughtful approach to launching our advertising. We did a, did a big trial last year. In a sense, we got permission from our customers, our consumers, to say targeted advertising delivered the right way actually can be a value add. Because uh, at the end of the day, all the carriers, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, et cetera, are all competing for a, a smaller and smaller number of customers who are still choosing providers. So the number one thing we have to do is deliver the right experience to consumers, and then number two is basically serve this new customer, which is the advertiser. Mm -hmm. so, well, thank you very much. That's been very helpful. My pleasure. Okay.